Today's lesson is called Species Under Threat. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today we're going to continue talking about species that are under threat. Of course, there have been a lot of changes in the world, and、uh, of course, the human population is going up, and we keep burning down forests and stuff like that, and we keep fishing from the oceans. So we're causing lots of problems with the earth, and therefore, lots of species are under threat. Some species of animals and plants. Are threatened with extinction, so we got to watch out. We talked about a beautiful bird in South America called the Andean condor, and it's under threat because those farmers there keep poisoning the foxes and the pumas, which those condors like to eat, and they get sick and die as well. Gosh, we are the worst. Today's lesson is called "Species Under Threat." Last time we talked about the Andean condor. Today we'll be talking about two other species that are under threat. Okay, we'll be talking about one other animal, the horseshoe crab, and then also a mushroom, a fungus that is under threat, the matsutake mushroom. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a short break. But when we come back, we'll start reading about the horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab, often called living fossils because they have existed almost unchanged for at least 445 million years, horseshoe crabs are highly valued in modern medicine. Their light blue blood holds the key to detecting toxic elements in the drugs we use to heal ourselves. Every year, half a million horseshoe crabs are captured by drug companies, drained of their blood, and then returned to the ocean. Sadly, many of them die as a result of the bleeding procedure. And this has caused a huge drop in their numbers in the past few decades. 各位好，第一部分我们看到片语 hold the key to 加名词，表示掌握点点点的关键。例如 ，Brent holds the key to the company's success. Brent 掌握了公司成败的关键。接着我们看到名词 procedure， 指程序、步骤、手续。举例来说。The entire procedure will take about an hour. 这个程序大概要花一个小时。或是 My dad said that installing new headlights is a simple procedure, but I don't believe him. 我父亲说安装新车头灯的步骤很容易，不过我不相信他的话。再举一个例子 My lawyer explained the procedures that I need to go through to set up a business. 我的律师解释了我开业需要办的手续。另外，除了上面的意思，这个字还可以指疗程。我们可以说 ，the procedure is simple and won't require a stay in the hospital. 疗程很简单，而且不需要住院。Okay, remember last time we talked about the Andean condor. Which gets poisoned by farmers who feed poison to foxes and pumas. But now we're talking about the horseshoe crab. Okay, what the heck are horseshoe crabs, and why are they under threat? Well, here it says, often called living fossils because they have existed almost unchanged for at least 445 million years. Horseshoe crabs are highly valued in modern medicine. So this sentence here gives us some information about the horseshoe crab. They are called living fossils. Fossil, of course, is something that、uh, usually gets buried under layers of rock. And they can kind of tell us what animals were like millions of years ago. And in this particular case, they are living fossils. Most fossils are dead and have been dead for millions of years. But we're describing these as living fossils. I suppose you could also describe the coelacanth, that、uh, ancient fish in the oceans, also as a living fossil. I think they've actually been found in recent times, even though they are millions of years old. They are, and so are horseshoes. Crabs. They've been around forever. They have existed almost unchanged for at least 445 million years. And here it says that horseshoe crabs are highly valued in modern medicine. Get this: their light blue blood holds the key to detecting toxic elements. In the drugs we use to heal ourselves. So there you go. Horseshoe crabs are literally blue-blooded. They're not a 
a member, or, or they're not members, I should say, of the nobility or anything like that, but they do have blue blood, light blue blood, that holds the key to doing something fantastic. It detects toxic elements in the drugs we use to heal ourselves. By the way, if something is toxic, it's not good for us. If we were to ingest that, it might just kill us. Usually, you use the word toxic to refer to a chemical that would not be good for you to consume or to ingest in some way. Exactly. So, we humans are only to blame. We love to take our pills. Every time we get sick, oh, we've got to see the doctor and we've got to get a prescription for some medicine. So, yeah, we're taking pills all the time for whatever problem we have. And so, therefore, these horseshoe crabs are necessary. Necessary to detect those toxic elements in the drugs we use, and yes, that light blue blood holds the key to detecting those toxic elements. So here, hold the key. That just means it's an important part of something. If you hold the key to something, hey, that's the most important part. If you don't have that thing, you can't do what you want to do. So something would not be possible if it weren't for the light blue blood. Of the horseshoe crab, it holds the key to detecting these toxic, nasty, bad elements in the drugs we use to heal ourselves. Here, we're not talking about drugs, the things that drug addicts take to get a rush or anything like that. No, we're talking about medicine, the drugs, the medicines that we use to heal ourselves. Yeah, here, these are good drugs, but to use these drugs. Apparently, horseshoe crabs have to suffer and die. So get this, every year, half a million horseshoe crabs are captured by drug companies, drained of their blood, and then returned to the ocean. Oh my goodness, it sounds like these drug companies here are acting as vampires for these poor horseshoe crabs. Acting as vampires, my goodness, that's a very appropriate way to describe it. They hook them up to machines and suck all the blood out of them, and then they return the helpless horseshoe crabs to the ocean, and sadly, many of them die as a result of the bleeding procedure. There you go. Usually a procedure is a well-established way way of doing something. If you follow these steps one by one in this order, this will happen. This desired result will come about. So they have a bleeding procedure. These drug companies, they know how to get the blood out of these horseshoe crabs. They follow this procedure, and sometimes these horseshoe crabs survive. Other times, they don't, okay? Many of these horseshoe crabs die because of this bleeding procedure, and because of this, there has been a huge drop or a dramatic decrease in their numbers, and that's not a good thing for the horseshoe crab or for us, too. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go away. When we come back, we'll start to talk about an endangered fungus, the Matsutake mushroom. The Matsutake mushroom. Prized in Asian cuisine for its fragrant, spicy flavor, the Matsutake mushroom is commonly found growing under trees in thick pine forests. However, the destruction of the world's pine forests has made the delicious mushroom more and more difficult to find. In fact, they have become so scarce that the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, recently declared them a vulnerable species. And this leaves both fine diners and conservationists in a state of panic. Carl grows several fragrant herbs in his garden. Carl The fragrant smell of freshly cut grass makes me think of summer. 另外,补充一个相关形容词, aromatic, A-R-O-M-A-T-I-C, aromatic, 指芳香的, 新香的. 我们可以说, the market is filled with the scent of aromatic spices. 那个市场充满了芳香香料的味道. 再来,我们看到名词, diner, 指饕客,食客. 例如, a few of the diners in the restaurant were unhappy with the food they were served. 餐厅里有几位食客不满意他们的食物。另外,除了上面的意思,这个字还可以指小餐馆。像是, We can get a quick meal at a diner before we go to the movie. 我们可以再去看电影前在小餐馆很快地吃一餐, 
。最后，我们看到单字 conservationist 这个字是名词，意思是保育人士。例如 ，Alan is a conservationist who works for the National Park Service. Alan 是一名在国家公园上班的保育人士。另外，这个字去掉字尾 ist 就成了名词 conservation， 指对自然生态的保护、保育。我们可以说。We need to care more about conservation of natural resources if we want to save the environment. 如果我们想要拯救环境，就必须更加保护天然资源。Now the second. Living thing that we're going to talk about. It's not actually an animal; it's a plant. We're going to talk about the matsutake mushroom, which I believe is songrong in Chinese, and prized in Asian cuisine for its fragrant, spicy flavor. The matsutake mushroom is commonly found growing under trees and thick pine forests. So this particular sentence here tells us all about the matsutake mushroom. It's prized in Asian cuisine. Cuisine is just a word that refers to the kind of food that people eat in different places. We have Taiwanese cuisine. We have Thai cuisine.、Uh, Liao li, I guess, is how you translate it into Mandarin Chinese. So yes, indeed, it's prized. People love this kind of food because it has this fragrant, spicy flavor. Flavor and it's very special. And if you eat food with this particular flavor, oh, it's like nirvana. It's like you've reached heaven for being able to eat this specialty. Now, one note about this word "fragrant." This word usually has a positive connotation. The word "odor" has a negative connotation. An odor is a bad smell, a stink, a stinky smell. Whereas a fragrance, let's say. Mmm, that smells good. That is very fragrant. That's a nice fragrance that you are wearing. So yes, if you are wearing a fragrance, perhaps it's a perfume or a cologne, it's going to make you smell good. It's going to be fragrant. But if someone says, "Oh, you've got a foot odor problem," it means that your feet stink, and that's kind of disgusting. So yes, the word is fragrant. That would be the adjective. Fragrance would be a noun. Anyways, these mushrooms are known for having a fragrant. And then also spicy flavor. They smell good. They taste spicy, and you know what? They are dying out as well. Oh no! I guess people are hunting these mushrooms to extinction. Although you don't hunt for mushrooms as you would for an animal, you go out into the wild there and you pick those mushrooms. So I guess people are just picking too many of these mushrooms, right? Not quite. Remember, these mushrooms are commonly found growing under trees and thick pine forests. But as people have begun to cut these forests down, the habitats for these mushrooms they have become fewer and fewer in numbers. You have less and less of these thick pine forests, and therefore fewer and fewer of these delicious matsutake mushrooms. Anyways, however, our article continues. The destruction of the world's pine forests has made the delicious mushroom more and more difficult to find. There you go, habitat loss. Not only does it affect animal species, but Species of fungus as well. Yes, we're talking about the destruction of the world's pine forests.、Uh, destruction is the noun form of the verb to destroy. Yes, the pine forests are being cut down, just like all the trees in the Amazon. Gee, what are we going to do without all those trees? And so the mushroom has become more difficult to find. In fact, they have become so scarce. That the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN for short, recently declared them a vulnerable species, and this leaves both fine diners and conservationists in a state of panic. Yes, it sounds kind of like a scary situation. Imagine that someday you'll never be able to eat a dish with the matsutake mushroom in it. Okay, and of course these are probably very expensive, and of course if you can afford to cook with these mushrooms, your friends will be very very impressed. So again. 
again, they're getting more and more difficult to find, and they are very scarce, which means they're rare. They're hard to find. So we've got this organization here called the IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They're getting really scared too. They've declared them a vulnerable species. I think、uh, different types of living things have a different kind of conservation status. Like some things are so common, like pigeons and sparrows, they are of least concern. But as you get down the scale, there you've got extinct at one end and least concerned at the other. Here, vulnerable isn't so great. No, it is not. If a species of some kind is vulnerable, it's under threat. Okay, before there were plenty of this animal or this fungus around, but now, oh, not so many. They're vulnerable. They could, in theory, go extinct. Anyways, if you are vulnerable, it means you are open for attack, or you could be attacked. But here, we're saying that this particular species is vulnerable or under threat. In danger of possibly going extinct at some point in the future, and this has scared some people, both fine diners and conservationists. Conservationists, after all, love nature. They don't want anything to die out in Mother Nature. There, so this is alarming to these conservationists, and it's also kind of scary for fine diners. These people, they love going to restaurants and eating fine food, but if there are no matsutake mushrooms left out there, how can you really? Had a fine dinner, or if you want to be a fine diner at a fine restaurant. So yeah, maybe you could make a contribution to your local conservationist group, and they might be able to help out. But hey, these mushrooms are under threat. Just like the horseshoe crab, and just like the Andean condor, and I'm sure there are hundreds, if not thousands, of other species that are under threat as well that we don't have time to talk about here. But、uh, let's move on now to the final paragraph for today and wrap things up. How many more wonderful species must join the endangered list before we learn to treat the natural world with the respect and admiration it deserves? All right, folks. Our article ends with the following question: How many more wonderful species must join the endangered list before we learn to treat the natural world with the respect and admiration it deserves? Yes, what a great question. Anyways, before we move on here and take a break, let's talk about what it means to be endangered. An endangered animal is. In danger of going extinct. Okay, they're threatened or they're at risk of going extinct. Then one note here: it is one word, endangered. Okay, if you're endangered, e n, you are in danger. That's two words, i and then the word danger. So yes, indeed, these plants and animals deserve our respect and our admiration. So admiration here is a noun that is just the degree to which something is admired. It's respect, it's approval, and all that kind of stuff. And indeed, we should admire these plants and animals before they go extinct, or even better, let's stop them from going extinct. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. 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 And as a result, he became ill. Frank 的工作压力很大，结果他生病了。那特别注意，我们这边是 and as a result， 我们就加一个连接词 and， 因为 as a result 它是副词哦，不能拿来当连接词用。好，那么在 as a result 后面接 of 就会变成片语介系词。
as a result of 表示因为什么，由于什么，用来带出原因。那么后面是接名词或动名词。例如 ，The workshop has been postponed as a result of the typhoon. 因为台风的关系，研讨会延期了。好，课文第二部分写到，松茸常被发现生长在茂密的松树林下。不过，全世界的松树林遭到破坏，使得松茸越来越难找到。那这边有一个。单字是 destruction， 是表达破坏、毁灭。我们来学习它的字首字根。好 ，struct。S T R U C T 这个字根它有 pile 或者是 build 的意思，也就是表达堆叠或是建造。那么像 structure 它就是有 struct 这个字根，再加上名词字尾 U R E， 那么 structure 就可以表达结构、构造体或是建筑物咯。那么在 destruction 这个字当中，它的字首 D E 表示去除或者是否定 ，struct 表示建造。那么 I O N 是名词字尾。当我们把某个构造建筑物把它除掉、去除掉，那就表示要把它破坏掉了嘛。所以 destruction 就有这种毁灭、破坏的意思。顺便补充几个相同字根的单字哦。第一个是 construct。C O N S T R U C T， 它的字首 C O N 表示一起，那么 struct 表示建造，合在一起 construct 就是指建造、建构。好，第二个补充的是 instruct。I N S T R U C T， 它的字首 I N 表示在什么的上方，那么 struct 表示建造。因为我们试着想，人家在执行建造工程的时候，上面感觉很像有工头或者什么设计师在上面指挥。你用这样的方式，也许可以联想到 instruct 有指导、指挥的意思。好，那么第三个补充呢是 obstruct。O B S T R U C T， 它的字首 O B 表示妨碍，那么 struct 表示建造，合在一起 obstruct 就有阻止、妨碍或者是挡住或是堵塞的意思喽。好，那么以上这些重点整理，我们来回顾这些单词吧。Toxic. Be careful not to get any of that toxic chemical on your skin. Procedure. To set up a bank account, you will need to follow a certain procedure. Cuisine. When on vacation abroad, we always love to sample the local cuisine. Fragrant. The fragrant flowers attracted many bees to the garden. Destruction. The typhoon caused huge destruction throughout the country. Endangered. The number of endangered species continues to rise. Admiration. I have great admiration for my grandparents who lived through the war. Discussion starter starts now. All right, folks. Now it's time for our discussion starter. Hey, Roger. Uh huh. Which other species do you know about that are threatened, and how can they be saved? Another animal that is threatened is the Formosan black bear. I believe that they are fewer and fewer in number, and of course they wander the mountain ranges in central Taiwan. And I think because of human encroachment, they are threatened all the time. To save them, well, we could make fewer trips to the mountain ranges there, and、uh, you know, try to breed them and create more of them. How about you? I know that the Florida panther is threatened because of dwindling numbers and because of habitat loss, and they actually have started to help the numbers of Florida panthers rebound by bringing in similar panthers from Texas, so as to create new baby panthers. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always, we sure hope. That you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you next time. time.